Many years ago, the sun and water were great friends and both lived on the earth together. The sun very often used to visit the water, but the water never returned his visits. At last, the sun asked the water why it was that he never came to see him in his house. The water replied that the sun's house was not big enough and that if he came with his people, he would drive the sun out. He then said, If you wish me to visit you, you must build a very large compound. But I warn you that it will have to be a tremendous place, as my people are very numerous and take up a lot of room. The sun promised to build a very big compound, and soon afterwards he returned home to his wife, the moon, who greeted him with a broad smile when he opened the door. The sun told the moon what he had promised the water, and the next day commenced building a huge compound in which to entertain his friend. When it was completed, he asked the water to come and visit him the next day. When the water arrived, he called out to the sun and asked him whether it would be safe for him to enter. And the sun answered, Yes, come in, my friend. The water then began to flow in, accompanied by the fish and all the water animals. Very soon the water was knee-deep, so he asked the sun if it was still safe, and the sun again said, Yes. So more water came in. When the water was level with the top of a man's head, the water said to the sun, Do you want more of my people to come? And the sun and moon both answered, Yes, not knowing any better. So the water flowed on until the sun and moon had to perch themselves on the top of the roof. Again the water addressed the sun, but receiving the same answer and more of his people rushing in, the water very soon overflowed the top of the roof and the sun and moon were forced to go up into the sky where they have remained ever since. Till next time. Bye.